The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Und somit hallo und herzlich willkommen zu The Council. Ich habe gerade vergessen, wie das nächste, also wie dieses Kapitel heißt. Es ist ja das nächste Kapitel und wir können jetzt wieder ein bisschen was machen. Ähm, ich kann das lesen, ich kann das lesen. Da dieser Ding habe ich noch nicht fertig, das andere brauche ich nicht lesen. Manuskripte auswählen, ich kann keins mehr auswählen. Das bringt mir alles nichts, also muss ich es halten. is about to start any minute. This is not the time to be... Damn it. What's going on? Uh, I, I don't know exactly, Mr. President. I was looking for my mother and I, I came upon this body. My God. You don't think Sarah did it, do you? Mm. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Why would she have attacked a servant? If no one saw you, I'd advise you not to get involved, Louis, so that no one will accuse you of the murder. Ah, oh, darn, the conference is starting. Time is of the essence. Sort this out and join us as quickly as you can in the conference room. Everyone will be expecting you. Mr. President, this is not really the right time, and I, I didn't come for that. Your mother's seat cannot remain vacant. You must replace her while she's still missing. Your mother and I were to support Mortimer on this project. I don't know what the subject is, but the future of our countries depends on it. Given the importance of all this to Mortimer, he won't let the conference begin without you. So if you don't want more servants coming looking for you, I'd advise you to join us quickly and to put a brave face on it. The best favor you can do for yourself, Louis, and for Sarah, is to come and support Mortimer's project at the conference. Don't worry. You can count on me, Mr. President. I shall help you with Mortimer's project as soon as I finished up here. Good, Louis. Sarah would be proud of you. I'll stall them while you're on your way, but make haste. I'm going. Don't be long. Tell them that I'm on my way. Ich finde es schade, dass teilweise die Wund, 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 Mundbewegungen fällen. Suche nach Hinweisen zu Sarah, Dirichet oder gehe zur Konferenz. Ein old blanket. From the looks of it, it couldn't have kept her very warm. Someone's made a fire here. And the ashes are still warm. If you're the one who did it, Mother, it couldn't have been easy with only one hand. Na, also ich bin jetzt der Meinung, es ist vielleicht jetzt doof oder so. Well, the gate is locked. Es ist vielleicht jetzt doof. Ich werde mir das jetzt noch kurz angucken und gehe dann zur Konferenz. What the hell's been going on here? Somebody smashed him in the back of his head with something. He slowly bled to death. But that isn't what killed him. They broke his neck. Mother... This is your doing. The situation is getting worse and worse. Okay. Hey, war da noch was? Ich möchte natürlich, wenn alles mitnehmen, wenn ich sowas mitnehmen kann. Das hier ist zu. 
Ich weiß auch nicht, ob ich hier nochmal rein kann oder so. Aber ich will nicht, dass wir irgendwelche Probleme bekommen. So, niemand der Konferenz teil. Jetzt kann ich auch nicht mehr nach unten oder doch? Ja, ist egal. Also ich konnte mich jetzt entscheiden, das oder das. Spiel hat ja schon gesagt, von Anfang an, Entscheidungen verändern das Kapitel. Ich hätte auch anders wählen können. So, ich weiß gerade nicht, wo der Konferenzraum ist. Was ist das? Ach so, ja, bitte aufstehen. Wir gucken uns jetzt nicht das Bild an. Schauen wir mal, wo ist der Konferenzraum? Das weiß ich jetzt. Hallo. Gut, hier drinnen haben wir uns eigentlich eh schon voll geil viel umgeguckt. Also das ist jetzt nicht das Ding. Okay. Mr. Doriche, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. Okay. Das sieht voll mega aus. So. Nimm an der Konferenz teil. Triff dich mit Lord Mortimer. Sollen wir das direkt machen? Nee. Amber Christie. My son, glad you're here. It seems Lord Mortimer's been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. We still have a very important letter to give to her. Feeling all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. Ach so. Ich kann aber bitte, bitte mit dem noch reden. I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. Mm. Mm. Wie geht das noch mal? I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren's song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done. For a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. Okay. Jetzt bin ich gespannt, was er von uns will. The Lord Sisterse, Roman Gaul. Sammler Münzen sind eigentlich überall. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of water. Schlösserknacken. Um. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of water. Ich habe einen linken Schlüssel. Okay, ich brauche vorher einen rechten. Ich will jetzt gerade nicht mit ihm reden. Ich will mir vorher noch die Tische und alles angucken. Und überhaupt reden da auch noch Leute. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what be worth today. Goldelixia ist noch immer voll. Ich 
Das ist Mordemar und was ist da drüben? Wer ist denn das? Achso. Good evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much awaited conference is about to begin. That is what we have all been waiting for. I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes to speak to you before it begins. You should go and see him. Okay. Ich dachte mir gerade kurz, das war Lord Mortimer und denke mir dann, hä, es sind die zwei Männer, eh mit dem Bart, die sich sehr ähnlich ausschauen. Irgendwie, keine Ahnung. Edelsternchen. Gibt's hier noch was? Nee. Dann gehen wir zu Lord Mortimer. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly. But what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. Okay, weitere Fragen. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited. But as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Okay. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the assembly for it to become French. But how does that concern me? Well, you see, I prepared this project with your mother. We began thinking about a crazy idea. Unfortunately, Sarah went missing before getting the bigger picture. I don't intend to stop at Louisiana. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. 
The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. Mm. Lord Mortimer, I'm sure you're aware that Louisiana is hardly prime quality land. I wouldn't be exaggerating to call it marshland. How is acquiring land they won't know what to do with going to strengthen the United States? Think further, Louis. The United States won't stop there. Once they've acquired Louisiana, nothing will stop them. All they would have to do then is keep pushing toward the West to take the whole North American continent. So you intend to get rid of the Spanish? They are purely transitory. This is the settlers' home. It is natural for them to want to develop their nation to become one of the greatest powers of this world. As for the Spanish, there are just a handful of them actually on site. And if need be, we'll see to it that they are sufficiently occupied in Europe so that their focus is not on the North American continent. Moreover, Spain really only cares about its colonies in South America. It's hardly my fault if they are not capable of seeing the potential in the North American territories. The concept of royalty is from bygone times. It is time to lead the way to democracy. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Ich bin noch immer unsicher, ob ich diesem Menschen irgendwie vertrauen soll oder nicht. I propose we get started. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about a king of divine blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. I'm sorry about the fate of the King of France, Duke Manuel. However, I'm surprised at your remark. How can a man like me have changed the course of things where a man like you, powerful, capable of influencing international politics, was unable to do any better? Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France. 
namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, Willie? You speak of union, and yet here you are, about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. What? But I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet. That does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject which we shall resolve at a future date. Um... Die Sklaverei in den Vereinigten Staaten ist ein komplexes Thema, das wir zu einem späteren Zeitpunkt angehen werden. Wen provozieren wir denn da eigentlich? France is not without fault, but that doesn't take away Spain's responsibilities. You see, Native Americans are being subjected to a veritable ethnic cleansing. Europeans are colonizing their land so that it then belongs to them. The widespread evangelization of its inhabitants will soon eradicate a multitude of cultures. You've done the same thing in South America. How far will white people go? Reservations to pin them in like cattle? Total genocide? Come now, my friends. Let us not digress. Anyway, and these primitive people have no souls, Louis. We bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me, if you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Do mm -hmm. well. I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protege. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Habe ich nicht recht, Monsieur de Rissé, oder können Sie irgendwas mit diesem Vorschlag anbauen? Schutz vor den Amerikanern, Schutz vor den Engländern. Mmh. Überzeugung, Politik. Äh. Eine Mene Mu und raus bist du. We are neighbors, Duke Manuel. Remember, your main rival in Europe is more likely to be England who is plowing the seas right up your coastline. Hand over Louisiana to France and make her a prime ally. Come, Louis. Spain and Great Britain are already allies and have nothing to gain by breaking their alliance. Even if I do agree, Duchess, the omnipresence of the English fleet in Atlantic waters does not particularly please me. I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> My 
imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? Ähm, Frankreich wird die Christen beschützen. Frankreich kann die päpstliche Meinung egal sein. Mortimers Welt hat in Erinnerung rufen. On the maps of Italy I saw in Mortimer's secret study, he had anticipated movements of troops across Italy. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning an invasion of Italy by France. And if I push the notion a bit further, I can well imagine that Bonaparte's cannons, financed by the order, will be used for that purpose. The noose is tightening around poor Piaggi's neck without him even realizing it. I don't know if I'm the best person to speak about that, Your Eminence. Um. Honestly, Your Eminence, I really don't see it that way. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto. Ich verstehe kein Wort. Gregory. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher Ihnen, Emily, nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. Ach du Scheiße, ich find voll viel hier. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Ach du Scheiße. Ah. Okay. and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure watching it happen. <laughs> How uh, dare gentlemen, you. let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project Follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? Uh. Sie hat ihre Schwester erschossen. Ich kann es nicht schon wieder in den Menemu machen. Mir sind die Leute da voll unsympathisch, die was hier stehen, außer sie. Äh. At the risk of displeasing you, my lord, I'd rather follow Sir Gregory. I don't think this is a place for the order. Louis? No, let him go, Mr. President. Everyone is free to choose. Ah, ich vermute, dass das so ein Fehler war gerade. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? Mm, nah. Shortly find out, so let's take the lead. What do you mean by that? His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war! 
If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. And on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. What do you expect from the Papal States, Sir Gregory? What do you think? That they hold a mass? They will go to war, of course. What is it that you didn't understand in what I just told you? We all declare war on France. Militarily, politically, and financially. And me, Sir Gregory? How can I help? Louis, you have won my trust. The Order will have to act in France. But even before that, I'm going to need you. Right here and right now. Leave me now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Let's Let's meet meet early tomorrow morning for the next phase of the conference, which promises to be most exciting. Uh, Louis? I'd like to see you a moment, please. Thank you for signing with me today. I won't forget it. I'm going to need you. Help me counter Mortimer on his own ground. Right here. I'm sure he'll try and win some of you over. He needs our votes. Now, you leave that to me. In the meantime, I must ask you to go and see President Washington and persuade him to trust me and join us. Bin ich der Richtige? In Ordnung. Sie hingegen müssen bitte... Hmm, in Ordnung. I'll do my best. You should go right away. There's no time to lose. William already has a head start on us. Very well. I'll go right away. Keine Ahnung, wie das jetzt ausgeht. Okay, ich schalte mich mal wieder ein. Es war jetzt gerade, ja, ziemlich lange ausgeschalten. So, es ist sehr viel geredet worden. Die, die Konferenz war, wie, naja, wie soll man sagen? Ja, eine Konferenz halt und mit extremen Entscheidungen in meinen Augen. Schauen wir mal, was das für Konsequenzen für uns hat. Und noch immer, wo es unsere Mutter versucht, George Washington zu überzeugen. Und das machen wir in der nächsten Folge. Ich hoffe, euch hat die Folge gefallen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao, ciao.